shout out to all my guys and goddesses checking out this video i am c the spiritual goddess here for another video yes guys and goddesses leave me some crystal ball emojis you know what as a matter of fact leave me some bow emojis if you are here checking out this video in today's video we're doing a what's beef rap girlies video yes this will be um on a patreon exclusive membership exclusive but i will put part of it on youtube in this video we're going to talk about jt young miami all that drama we're also going to talk about her and glorilla we're going to talk about uh ice spice and nikki do they have beef uh we're also going to talk a little bit about saucy santana and everyone everything like that so we're going to go ahead and get into that here uh, we're going to throw a little cardi b in there also so if this is something you're interested in make sure you stay tuned if you are watching this on youtube make sure you watch the full video on patreon and my membership you can join clicking the link below okay so look, we're gonna go ahead and start with glorilla we're gonna start with Gl glorilla and jt recently um they had some beef they had some drama um yes they got a little ugly child um there was rumors and shout out to Armand Wiggins. He started, uh, or he, I think I was say he started a rumor. He kind of put some info out sometime last year and it got confirmed that there was a little bit of energy between, um, Glorilla and JT. Allegedly there was like a purse thrown. Um, and since then people been thinking that like Glorilla's song, Yeah Glow has been about, um or i think it's called yeah glow about jc now here's my thoughts before i get into this reading i do this is just my opinion i'm gonna be real i do feel like a lot of you guys are gaslighting jt a, a lot of people in the comments are saying jt is so angry she's she's the problematic when in my opinion for two things one glorilla's been gaslighting jt i feel like in a lot of this i'm not absolving JT, but I feel, I feel like there's been a lot of gaslighting going on with JT. I'm just going to be real with you. There's been a lot of gaslighting from Cardi B fans. There's been a, a lot of gaslighting from just people in general. I, this is just what I feel. I'm, I'm not one to always run to a movement or say this is because of racism. I do feel like colorism plays a factor in it because, you know, we look at like someone like Glorilla, like she, even though she's literally been subbing J, JT, she started with her, you know what I mean? We, we look at like a dark skin, especially I just feel like a dark skin, confident woman and automatically be like, oh, she's problematic. That's just my feeling. You may not agree with me. You don't have to agree with me, agree with me but I do feel like that. And then I also feel like it's also people who this is not all of but there is certain groups of people like the cardi b fans that don't like Nicki minaj so they associate with her with that for some reason when they shouldn't so when it comes to glow the glorilla situation i just feel like this is just my opinion now these are not the cards these, these are just my opinion i feel like y'all are gaslighting the f out of jt with that situation okay all right let's go ahead and pull the cards though I want to know what what is the origin of this beef? What started this beef? Why did JT allegedly now tarot readings are for uh, entertainment purposes? Everything's alleged. Why did JT snub allegedly snub Glorilla on the carpet? I do understand that, you know, some people will say, well, JT, she, in the past, she went off on people. Yeah, but all of the, a lot of the rap girls did, though. <laughs> like, what does that have to do with this situation? Okay, so let's see. What is, what caused the whole energy backstage? Emotions definitely was been running high. Like, this was going to, going to happen. This wasn't out of nowhere, I will say this. Okay, so in a sense, I do feel like JT feel like 
Glorilla wasn't being as open with her, like she feels some type of way. And I do feel like Glorilla may have came across to JT like she was feeling some type of way towards JT. But it's not necessarily the case. I, I do feel like that. This is going to the carpet, what happened on the carpet. I feel like something got back to JT that, and she felt like Glorilla was moving shady. That's what I'm getting. Like, she feels like she was moving shady. It does have to do with, I'm getting with money a little bit. Not really even just money, but like how she heard someone was moving behind the scenes. If I have to be honest, I do pick up some in, in, uh, energy with Cardi. Because you know that Tomorrow 2 was a diss song towards JT in Young Miami, Canada. But um, I do feel like there is some type of energy between JT feeling like, you know, you trying to like balance between me and, and Cardi. Like, do you feel some type of way too? I am getting some type of energy of that. I do feel like JT did feel some type of way that Cardi dissed her on Gl a Glorilla song after what they, like after her, her um, you know, helping her out on FNF. But I feel like from Glorilla's side, she doesn't feel like she was like in the middle of that in a way. Like she feels like, the way she feels like, I'm not being funny. I just need to balance stuff. That's what I'm getting at the time. But JT feel like, no, you being fake. You you let this girl diss me on this song. It's kind of giving me that type of energy, if I have to be real with you. Um, let's see. Because Cardi was this or her nine child. And I will say, Tomorrow 2 was a good verse for Cardi. Uh, that was her best verse in a long time, if I have to be honest. We're going to do a reading on Cardi B because she child... I don't know what's going on with her music. Okay, um, okay, let's let's fast forward to now. So what happened was Glorilla mentioned Cardi. I mean, Glorilla mentioned JT on a song saying like, "There's no beef, but we ain't we ain't good" or something to that effect. Here's the problem. Before that, Glorilla had made a comment about her and Uzi being cousins, and then like letting the song fly like. Uh, that yeah glow song so i could see why jc would feel something because you didn't want to correct it into your album and there has been a little bit of drama there so i want to see with the girls like what is their overall energy after all the twitter blow up what is the overall energy i want to see what's going to happen so let's get the overall energy between the two what's the overall energy currently between the two because it was some threats to pull up and fight which ladies don't pull up and fight just put it in the music, okay? Y'all too classy for that. Well, I hope, I hope y'all too classy. I, I don't really know them. <laughs> Cause they might be like on it with the shit. You know what I'm saying? Especially Gorilla, she, I don't know. Did has Gorilla ever fought? Is there videos of her like how it is a Cardi? Mm, I'm not with women, beautiful women fighting. They're both beautiful. I'm not with them fighting each other. But I will say this, child. JT read Glorilla down, child. All right. Um, now I'm with some shady reads. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hit that thumbs up if you're watching this. All right. Okay. What? What is the overall energy between the two currently? What is the overall energy between the two currently? This is what I will feel. I feel like there's a little bit of regret on both sides. I feel like it's, it's half, half. Like there's a little bit of regret on both sides that, you know, it got to that point. Um, if I have to be real with you, that's the energy I'm getting. But that doesn't mean that it's, it's not bad blood between them. I feel like both of these people's teams may be talking to them like, why did y'all go this far? Y'all shouldn't have went this far. I do feel like even though they have like this drama there is an admiration there between both of them in some way but i feel like it just went too far it's something jt is not saying that glorilla is picking up on like there's something deeper for why this beef is happening i'm gonna pull yeah there's something that either got back to jt i keep picking up there's something that got back to jt 
and she doesn't know. I don't know why I suspect Kim Barbie has something to do with it. I don't know. I'm going to tell you, remember I did a read on Cardi B and I said there's some men behind the scenes that keeps drama going and like that's in both of the girls' ear, Cardi and Nikki. On Cardi's side, I did say Jason Lee, but I also think Ken Barbie too. And I'm bringing him up for a reason because I feel like he keeps a lot of BS going. He, to, he, he keeps a lot of BS going. He does because for him, it makes more sense for Cardi B like for them to be beefing i feel like he feeds her stuff even stuff that doesn't make sense i wouldn't be surprised if like jt i know you said he told you the real reason why he don't rock with you i feel like if you got like some dms or whatever you should release it because i feel like it's going to expose a lot and i do feel like there i wouldn't be surprised if there's something he shared or somebody else shared with her like because he was making it seem like yeah i told glorilla to slap her even though you know, I don't necessarily think that's true, but there's something, there's something there. And I'm going to be real. No shade. Kim Barbie, you give like obsessed fan vibes that like that's going rogue. And I hope Cardi B ain't making you her spokesperson. And I hope, you, you know, she ain't listening to you when it comes to this beef. Cause I feel like it's going to be a lot of things. You know, we going to talk about that in the Cardi B video. We're going to talk about all of that in that, but I do feel like there's someone who's like keeping up a lot of drama and I wouldn't be surprised if it comes out. It's giving me Kim Barbie vibes. I could be wrong. Could be somebody else. For those of you who don't know who Kim Barbie is, he's a, I don't know. I feel like he's a stay in the term blogger that keeps up a lot of drama. But yeah, I do feel like there's something there with that. There's something there with that. Okay. So Let's go ahead um, and see how would this beef play out? How would this beef play out? How is this beef going to end? How would this beef end? How would this beef end? Okay, this is what I'm picking up. I pick up that somebody's going to capitalize off of this beef. It's giving me JT vibes. I wonder if JT is going to address or throw a little shade in the song. But, like, I do get that because I'm getting someone's going to capitalize off of this beef. One of them. One of the ladies. I kind of do feel like it's JT a little bit. Like, she might throw a little shade or whatever. But I do feel like both ladies will, will they, will they get into a fight? No, nah, I don't feel like it's going to be any fights or anything like that. Glorilla is going to want to fight JT after she hears whatever she has to say. It's either going to be a song or it might even be an interview. Like there's going to be chats about it. But what I will, what I am picking up is they will rise above this. Like eventually they will rise above this and be like, you know, I, I, I'm putting that behind me. I got more better stuff going on. But I wouldn't be surprised if JT get her lick back, child, in a song. And it's a shady song. And Glorilla, don't want to fight, child. But Glorilla, put it in your music. But that being said, I, do, I don't feel like this is going to be like a career ending for both of those girls. I feel like they are going to rise above. They're going to rise above it. That's definitely what I'm getting here. But yeah, that's what I get for them. Um, let me know what you guys think. We're going to go ahead and move on now to... Young Miami and um, JT. You know, it's sad to see the City Girls go through this, but I'm not surprised, honestly. I actually did a reading, and I told you guys in my, in my JT reading, if you haven't checked that out, the more, um, the more bigger JT got, the more it's going to, to divide the City Girls, along with Young Miami and all the stuff with Diddy and stuff. I feel like that was going to put a negative like for like a negative cast over her young know, Miami's career and that kind of would end the city girls you know one of their interviews that they did I believe with Angie Martinez they was like they hope men don't break them up and unfortunately I do feel like they kind of played a part in it but not not fully you get what I'm saying so it is sad to see but I'm gonna be real <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Kill, 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 kill.